I've been gone over a month. I'm finna tell you why. I know I usually bring the energy. I know I usually bring positivity. But today is going to be different. If you don't want to hear negativity, click off the video now. That's my warning. That's my final warning. Because this is going to be negative as hell. Time's up. I do not like Elden Ring. I do not like Dragon's Dogma 2. I feel like both of those games went backwards. Now, I got to be lenient with Dragon's Dogma 2. We'll get into that in a minute. But let's start out with the game that's being shown. Elden Ring. Elden Ring took so many steps backwards. Let's go ahead and talk about the Tantra's Tongue. Did you know that it used to be called the Dry Finger before it was called Tantra's Tongue? Did you know the Dry Finger was a hell of a lot better? Because when you press that Dry Finger, the only way you could stop invaders from coming in was if you died, DC'd, or fog wall. You couldn't just cut the dry finger on and cut it off. I don't know who in the hell thought that cutting the Tantra's tongue off would be a great idea, but that's the stupidest shit. Look at this uh clip right here, right? Look how much damage I'm able to do just by pressing a button. Don't get me wrong. I love these two spells for my mage. Oh, man. I started playing mage before I... uh. Left Elden Ring. And if you've been following me for a while, you know I did not care to play the staff at all. Hey, I got to give it to Elden Ring. It got me to play the staff because of how much damage them damn spells do. You don't even have to get close to your opponent. You could just spam them away from a distance. That's Elden Ring. I don't expect Elden Ring to be like Dark Souls 3. I don't expect Elden Ring to be like Dark Souls 2. I'm not going to mention Dark Souls 1. I'm talking about the ones I play. Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3. I don't expect Elden Ring to be like them. I expect Elden Ring to be better than them. And it ain't. PvP wise. I'm not talking about no motherfucking PvE. Excuse the foul language. I told y'all this was going to be a negative, uh, a negative video. I gave you the warning to get off. Nothing but negativity is going to come through your screen, through your phone screen, through your TV screen. Straight negativity about these two games I'm talking about. I'm just a little bit lenient on Dragon's Dogma 2. But I'm not, I'm not going to be lenient on uh, Elden Ring at all. Six man. Six man. You knew it was coming. Come on now. Dark Souls 3, six man with straight chaos. Elden Ring don't have it. Why? Everybody was excited for the DLC. Man, DLC new weapons. DLC new armor. DLC new bosses. My ass. What a six man is. That's what I'm waiting for, baby. I'm waiting for the chaos to start. Man, ain't no damn chaos. I'm not saying they can't add it in the future. I'm asking, like, why the hell they ain't added it now? What's taking so long? That just adding six man is enough for me to pick the damn game back up. So it could be straight chaos on the field. Don't get me wrong, you know, the spells shit still gonna be horrible, but it'll be a lot more fun than trying to fight 3v1 all the damn time. 3v1 because somebody done cut the Tunter's tongue on. And then he done cut it off. And then when you kill a phantom, here come a blue. It kind of make me wonder, bro, if, if I'm already in a 3v1, why the hell do blues even exist? Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I I love the blues in uh, Dark Souls 3. I, I felt like they had a damn purpose. Elden Ring, man, blue ain't got no damn purpose at all. He just the man that comes in when you kill one of the phantoms. He just there to take his spot to make an invader life hard. 
what was the point of even adding invasions into the damn game, man? You could have just... Now, I know a lot of people not going to agree with me saying this, you know. I feel like Elden Ring been better off without goddamn invasions at this point. I feel like it'd have been better off, but it, that's my opinion. Hell, I don't play the damn game no more, you feel me? I uninstalled it. This footage y'all watch, man, this shit old. Oh, some of this shit is before uh, the DLC drop. Some of it a little bit after the DLC drop. I don't... Shit, that shit uninstalled. I can, no, man. Hell no. I'm good. It just... You going into the same shit. Three man. Spam, spam, spam. It's... I'm good. You know you ain't got no partner coming when you kill a phantom? Nah, ain't no partner coming. Here come that blue. That's who coming. Like, nah, I'm... I'm good. Let's move over to Dogma. Now, the reason I said I was lenient on Dragon's Dogma 2, because I haven't been up under a rock for a month. I've been still on YouTube and shit. And I've seen that a lot of support went to... That could have been for Dragon's Dogma 2 went to Monster Hunter Wilds. And I have streamed Monster Hunter on here. You see in my description, I play Souls, Lights, Dragons, Dogma, Monster Hunter, and some racing games. So, I, I have to be lenient on Dragon's Dogma because I know it could have been a better game if they had the support. If all the support wouldn't have went to Monster Hunter Wilds. I, I'm not bashing... Monster Hunter Wilds because like I said I love Monster Hunter. But I feel like let let Dragon's Dogma have its time to shine. That's what I feel like. Like if Dragon's Dogma 2 would have had more support, I feel like it could have got game of the year. Now I know some of y'all gonna be like, hell no, boy, that Wukong that I done seen Wukong. I done seen it. I, I know how good it is. The, the story, I watched it. Um, the story is, is great. I enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the side stories. You know, I didn't play it, but I just, you know, watched somebody else play it. And I I enjoyed looking at the boss fights. And the, like I say, mainly the side story. The side story is very good. But I, I still feel like Dragon's Dogma, if it had more support, it would have, you know... Kind of battled a little bit with Wukong, but it damn sure ain't battling now. They did Dogma wrong. I'm talking about motherfuckers was waiting years to get their hands on the Dragon's Dogma too. I remember when they first announced it, like I was like, "Oh man, after all these years, what Dragon Dogma too?" And then it released, and it's like, I knew when they said they split the vocations. I was like, "Man." Here we go. See, my magic archer come with daggers. That was my favorite vocation in the first game, magic archer. My magic archer come with daggers, not just a bow. They shouldn't have split up the vocations because it made it harder to solo. Matter of fact, only a few vocations could actually solo the game without struggling. Like what you had Thief, Thief could solo. Uh I feel like Mr. Spearhand struggled a little bit. I ain't gonna lie. I think Thief ah oh, well I ain't no thing. I know Thief was number one. Thief wasn't finna struggle with nothing. But every other vocation, you had to have certain setups and shit to play solo. And then in that game, Dragon's Dogma 2, they tried to make it a word you had to have the puns. That brought up an argument between a lot of people. I even made a video about it. They got a lot of views. I actually got a lot of subs off that video. It's called Stepping on Toes. I got a lot of subs off that video. Because I just told the truth. People every time I was the game not meant to be solo, blah, blah, blah. Dude, you can shut the fuck up. Like, you probably didn't even play the first Dragon's Dog. When you play, if you... Played the first Dragon's Dogma 
you knew why it was important to learn how to solo that game. Because once you got the bitter black, and them puns start jumping off of edges and doing stupid shit and killing themselves, you had the solo. That's why solo in the game was so important to people in Dragon's Dogma 2. Because we know them puns going to make stupid mistakes. They AI. They going to do that. They going to jump off an edge and kill themselves or jump in the damn water in the brine and die. They going to do it. That's why solo went was so damn important. But in Dragon's Dogma 2, they removed the escape system. To where if an ogre or uh, cyclops, anything grab you, you just got to sit there and take it. Relying on some damn puns that probably going to end up killing themselves somewhere down the road. I didn't like the, um, the health loss system either. I didn't really care. For, I can't even remember the name of the... Uh, the gauge because it's been it's been that long since i played dragon's dom i didn't like it though you know there's like well you have to rest and uh no you know but that's that's just me i that's just something i didn't like you know it ain't that big of a deal it's just something i didn't like i've been keeping that bottled up for a long time been wanting to say something i just never did but thank y'all who are still here you know, I know a few people unsubscribe, but I've been gone for a month, so I can't blame them. But for y'all who are still here, thank y'all. Thank y'all for continuing to support me, even though I've been gone for a high little minute. <laughs> and I got more content coming. We probably going to do Monster Hunter on streams and stuff for, because Monster Hunter WoW is about to come out. Uh, and I might try that test drive unlimited after I watch somebody play it. I might pick it up and we might stream that. But like and subscribe if you ain't. Comment down below if you don't. I'll see y'all later.